Hi everyone. Hi guys. Welcome to our new video. I have a question for you today. And before we get on with uh, today's episode, I want you to leave a little comment. Are you jealous of all the art supplies that Julia has? <laughs> I usually am not, but today I so am. I'm jealous, <laughs> Julia, you would not believe it. Really? While why? I was waiting for us to start recording, I went browsing and looking at the pen we're going to talk about today. And my cart is full. And Julia, you're going to owe me a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> because what we're talking about today, and you may see this elegant uh, black box and a very elegant uh, purple pen. Yeah. We're talking about Ellington pens, fountain pens today. And as they describe them on their website, they're luxury pens at affordable prices. Absolutely. Um, and they're also, <laughs> so it is their passion and their mission to provide us with beautiful fountain pens. And as they say on their website, without eye-watering prices. And I don't know about the prices, but the beauty <laughs> of these pens is eye-watering. I mean, mm -hmm. they are just gorgeous, aren't they, Julia? Yes, they are. They are. Uh, luxury is, is really the word we can use for them. They are so, so beautifully made. And um, yeah, I would say let's talk about them and let's try them out. <laughs> Okay, well, obviously, fountain pens can be used for writing, journaling, but we're not interested in that. We're interested in using these pens for sketching. Yes. So, J Julia, tell us what these pens can do. Yeah, a lot of sketchers uh, use actually uh, fountain pens for for sketching, and we've got uh, a few questions about uh about these pens and all of them were about inks but i think it's also important to you uh, to tell other people who maybe um don't know how to use or if you you can uh, use um uh, fountain pens for sketching at all um to about these pens and um and maybe um inspire them to use uh, to use them so um the this fountain pen and I'm really I I have another one pen, uh, fountain pen and I don't really like it but this one is uh, is really cool really great so I probably will use it uh, for a lot of my sketches but why is it so uh, so interesting to um, to use. Come on, draw a line. A line. <laughs> draw a line. Okay. The line. The line. When we when we draw a line with uh, with a fountain pen, a uh, very um, the thing with fountain pens and what make it different from uh, from uh, fine liners, for example, is that we can uh, use we can press on them, and the line will um, change. So you can thickness. vary the thickness of the line. Yes, yes. So you can see that I start with a very thin line, and then uh, when I press harder, I can um, create a thicker line. Uh, also, it's it's really cool for hatching, for example. We can do hatching with it. Um, I'm not a big fan, but I know a lot of people are actually beginners. Cross hatching is also possible. So, for example, something like this is also a possibility. Um, but um, I think the most interesting part is uh, that you can combine different techniques. So you can do, uh, for example, uh, very thin lines. Um, we we'll often talk about uh, textures and um, you don't want 
uh, textures to be very thick. Or, uh, for example, if you draw um, an old uh, cottage, you want uh, textures to be quite thin, uh, so you can draw them uh, like this. And if you want to add shadows, you can do it like this. So I think that's... So basically with fine um, liners, you would need, well, let's say two different thicknesses for it. Maybe three. Or maybe yes. three, right. So you use fine, medium and uh, thicker fine liners. Yes. And you yes. can do all that with just one fountain exactly, pen. Exactly, exactly. You can replace uh, three fine liners with one fountain pen. This is um, uh, the benefit of, of this pen. Okay. Uh, so it is... Um, great for creating thin lines, thicker lines, for hatching, cross hatching, and for uh, for fine detailed work and for uh, for shadowing, all these different things. Uh, further, I want to actually uh, say something about the ink flow because it's uh, really cool. It depends on how you <laughs> how you hold your pen because if you hold it in a wrong way, uh, like this, for example, I don't know if you can see it very well. But if you um, don't um, let your ink um, touch the uh, paper, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you um, draw with this. Um, with this side where there is no ink, then uh, your ink flow will be bad, but it's not <laughs> about the quality of the pen, it's about how to hold it. Um, but if you draw like this, and especially on smooth paper, and we will talk about it more a little bit later, the ink flow is really, really great. Or you can do it like this too, a thin line. But an important thing is that you hold your pen the way that the ink is um, uh, can can get out of the pen. So this is the okay. Most well, this makes sense. Right? <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> so how difficult is it to draw a nice long line with this pen compared to a fine liner? I. I think actually that it's maybe even easier. Okay. Yeah, yeah, because it's it's very uh, the the movement is very smooth. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, and and fine liners. It depends on the fine liner. Some fine lines are a little bit uh, more difficult to use than the others. Uh, but this one, uh, this pen is is um, I like it a lot. It's um, I can. Uh, draw very um, a line very rapidly or very slowly. And it's right. still well, the trick to long. having nice long lines is practice, of course. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> yes, yes. Right. And so, if you are out of practice, no <laughs> pen can help you really. No, no, no. <laughs> That's the secret. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so nice long lines um, yes. and the movement is smooth, yes. right? Nice yes. and easy and smooth. Okay, what, yes. else? what else do you feel, Julia? Um, I have to say something about the saturation of, the, um, of ink. Uh, and um, this ink, uh, the ink that uh, is inside the... Um, Inside so the, the pen, ink that I comes can't... with the pen. Yes, yes. Um, it's very um, dark, uh, very uh, saturated, really nice um, color, uh, black color for oh, yeah. coloring your sketches. Um, there is something with the ink, and we will talk about it <laughs> a little bit later. <laughs> but um, the ink uh, that uh, comes with um, uh, with a pen is really great. I love it. Very dark, very beautiful. Uh, let me see. Um, you can create, as I said, uh, uh, 
lines uh, very rapidly, very quickly, or you can make them um, uh, very slowly. But an, uh, a, a beautiful, a beautiful thing, an important thing, I think, is that you can um, create very expressive lines, yeah. like like this, for example. And it's not always possible with a fine liner. Uh, sometimes, if you if you draw a um, a, uh, a line like this with a fine liner, then it starts here with a, a darker um, um, with a darker um, line, and here you almost have no no uh, no color anymore. Um, also, I love this. <laughs> I don't know. Is it a technique? Maybe not. Um, when I draw with with a pen like this, um, I do it also with with a fine liner, but it's um, it depends on the fine liner if it works. Um, that I draw a line, for example, and I do it like this. So some of the um, parts of the line are darker than the others, especially the uh, the ends of the line, and this way I can create um, a quite interesting. Um, I don't know, <laughs> look. Um, so um, the ink flow helps me to- So it create... gives you more flexibility basically, right? Yes, yes. There is uh, a little bit um, more uh, line variety that makes mm -hmm. uh, makes it um, yeah happen <laughs> actually. So, and if you want to, make a darker line it's also possible so how quickly does this ink dry because you know you can get carried away with all this flexibility and creativity of line variety and stuff uh so does it smudge easily mm, I, <laughs> it's difficult to say because i work not that quickly i think okay <laughs> Uh, so one and a half it, hours it, for a standard oh, no, workshop no, I you mean, know <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a minute maybe it's a minute like like this no no it, it, but it also depends on the paper actually because the smoother the paper uh the longer the the dry uh, time uh and on a paper on watercolor paper uh, especially if it's um um uh, cotton paper for example i think uh it will dry even even quicker because it uh, uh, the paper absorbs the uh, the ink and it dries uh, quicker. Okay, is now is a good time to talk about paper. What yes. kind of paper are you using right now? Yes, this is um, uh, the smoothest paper I have in house. <laughs> uh, it's um, extra okay, smooth. extra smooth. Yes. Newton. Okay. Yes. Um, and I think that's the maybe the best paper uh, to use it. Um, but <laughs> of course, um, if you want to um, to work with watercolor, then it's not it's not the best paper. Um, okay. So have you tried so, these pens on watercolor paper? I of course have watercolor paper here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well prepared. Uh, here I have a watercolor paper and um, okay, so uh, uh, the problem with watercolor paper, especially I, I've got a, a very textured one here uh, because I know that um, it's very difficult to um, to draw a line with a fine liner on very textured paper. Usually um, you have um, a very um, uneven line. Mm -hmm. And it's very difficult to, um, to, to yeah, to, to get a, a really good line. So, um, with and this, so how does this fountain pen compare to fine liner? Uh, let me see. I have a fine liner here. Actually, we can we can compare, and it's uh, this. Mm, maybe it's pretty much the same. It looks the same to me, but yes, is it easier same. to use uh, this fountain pen? It depends on it... how you hold it. Look at this. If you hold it like like this, 
and you press a little bit harder, mm -hmm. then the the line is um, is better. Okay. Yeah, it's it's more continuous. Um, however, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's just <laughs> the same. I'm not sure. Okay, so would you use it instead of a fine liner in your watercolor sketches? Um, I think we need to talk about the um, the ink. <laughs> that does moment. not answer my question. I don't know. Would you or would you not? <laughs> I, yes, I probably. Yes, so you could at least. Yes, yes, definitely, definitely. And I think I'm going to use this uh, this pen. Mm -hmm. Um, All right, so what about the ink, Julie? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a large topic. Uh, the ink is uh, the ink uh, that uh, comes with this um, with this pen is not waterproof. Right. So, which what does that mean for us as uh, sketchers? Uh, it means that um, if we use the technique when we f first apply the pen and after that we apply the um uh the uh, the watercolor on top of the pen then it will smudge yeah not gonna work just don't no. try, don't try it at home no don't try it at home <laughs> no because uh yeah it, it will be it will be a mess uh so for these kinds of sketches when you first um use the the, uh, the fine liner or a pen uh you actually need a uh waterproof uh ink and all these fine liners i have here they have waterproof uh, ink so they won't smudge uh there is another technique when you first apply the watercolor and after that you uh you apply the pen it doesn't matter you can uh, use any um, any um, any ink. Um, okay, so um, let me see because there, are, there there is a lot of um, to tell about ink. Uh, first of all, um, I have some ink cartridges, carbon ink. It's it's um, uh, platinum uh, carbon ink. Uh, it's waterproof ink, and you can. Um, you can put it in this pen and you will just um, uh, um, you, you, you can, you can uh, use it as a fine liner so the, the, um, the ink will be waterproof. Uh, there are some questions about uh, this, uh, this ink. Uh, because people are, don't dare to to put it in the pen. Uh, some people say, um, "Yeah, I I just uh, don't want to uh, to ruin this pen. Is it safe uh, to um, to put this ink in the uh, in the pen?" I have here a pen. It's a it's a very old one. I think I have it like maybe um, uh, five years, and I've always uh, been. Uh, using this uh, carbon ink, uh, platinum ca uh, carbon ink uh, in this um, pen, and it's still working. So I don't think you will. Win. It's not. It's it's not the best pen. <laughs> Let's be honest, <laughs> but it works. <laughs> it still works. So um, no, you won't ruin it. I, I mean, I I'm. Can't. And the cartridges are all the same size, like um, they are. They yeah. fit this pen. They, this uh, the the cartridges they have here. Th these are the cartridges I've got from Ellington, mm -hmm. and these are the smaller cartridges. But you uh, can put. Oh, let me see, because I also want to know if it works. But there is another solution. <laughs> If it doesn't, um, okay. So there are uh, there are larger. It's quite difficult. Oh, maybe they. They're in, oh, it's the wrong side. 
no, they are uh, a little bit too large, but um, this carbon ink uh, is in different. Um, okay, it uh, comes in different in di sizes. Yeah, different sizes. Uh, but you also have them in. Um, um, okay, now we're going to watch Julia trying to put her pen <laughs> back together. <laughs> the precious the, the, the pen. best idea to, to, to do it like that. Live on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay so um i've got it <laughs> but well the lesson here don't be afraid to take it don't apart. Be afraid. there's okay. only a few pieces that can easily be put back together yes so um this pen came with this uh converter mm, okay yes and this um carbon ink um uh, you have it also in um in the form of uh, in a bottle so you can easily not only use colored ink for for your pen which is actually also a very cool idea right i have here some inks and you can use for example yellow ink or or red ink or whatever you want you can put it in the converter and it's very easy to use and you you can be sure that it uh works with this pen because it comes with the pen um so oh my hands <laughs> we'll look at your face later <laughs> so don't touch your face <laughs> yeah but the converter is very easy to use you only have to um... well you personally would you keep your ellington pen as it is and then use the other pen for all the different colored inks or are you actually willing to? <laughs> yes, definitely. I will use different colors, of okay. course, especially in, in uh, I, I'm sure I will, I, I will use it in October for... Uh... You know, there's one thing I found, um, and let me, yes, pull your face back up on the screen. Um, you know, I found on their website, um, somehow I totally missed it before, there is a fountain pen day apparently oh, first really? friday of november so i think we should uh put it on our calendar and remember to celebrate it yeah. by doing some fountain pen uh sketching one other question that we um forgot to mention mm -hmm. is uh, the size of the nib i can see on the mm -hmm. website that the pens well you know when buying things there are so many choices you need to make and so uh there's all these gorgeous colors uh of pens that you can see but once you've chosen your favorite color then there's another choice that you need to make medium fine or extra fine yes and so the medium is 0.5 uh millimeters fine uh, is uh 0.4 and extra fine is 0.3 millimeters yes. does or is this a big difference? And which size would you recommend? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure how the other nibs are because I have only this one and I love it really because uh, what you can do with this nib, uh, as I said, you can draw thin lines, you can draw thicker lines and you, you can draw very thick lines uh, if you um, press uh, very hard on the pen. Um, uh, I have uh, the nib uh, with an F on on the so uh, on the nib. It's fine. fine. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and um, so I can create very thick lines. I can create a, a little bit thinner lines. So I right. think this is very comparable to um, uh, um, this one, the uh, 0.5 millimeter. Uh, fine liner, uh, but there is something you can also do with this pen. You can use it like this, and then mm. you can create very thin lines. So you yeah, actually did you do this again uh, now that um, yeah it's all right. So you turn it upside yes. down. Yes, and then your uh, lines will be very thin. All right, so uh, fountain pen size fine, right? Uh, yes. 
0 0.4 uh, millimeters should cover um, all, all your, needs. your needs. Or at huh? least drawing needs. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> You know, I was uh, as I was browsing again the catalog. Uh, it turns out there's it's not just the pens. There are also journals, blank, uh, bullet or uh, dotted, uh, ruled all sorts of journals with uh, different colors of covers, and um, yeah, I already have a couple of things to put on my wish list. <laughs> if not directly into the uh, cart. And um, for everyone watching uh, this video, we've got a discount that I'm gonna use for sure. And <laughs> <laughs> you can use, um, uh, just use the, uh, the code Julia at Very checkout. Easy. <laughs> nice easy, but we'll also put the link and the code word into the description section. And uh, so use this code to get a discount and um, enjoy, enjoy um, the fountain pens and other... And sketching. Well, yes, and sketching, <laughs> not just the pen, <laughs> the sketching. <laughs> All right. And uh, when you post your amazing sketches done with Ellington pens, don't forget to tag us at Brave Brushes and julia underscore henze so we can see them admire them and uh, know that you're using fountain pens <laughs> anything else julia i think I that think pretty so. much covers it right yes okay well we'll see you again soon next week with another episode of our show, show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's call right. it the show <laughs> happy sketching Happy sketching, guys. Bye.